they are doing a lockdown. My husband goes to Osaka. Before you know it, he called me, say police have arrested him. I asked him what happened. He said, I don't know, he was sitting with the people there, they arrested him. I said, okay, what do you expect me to do? There is no money in the house, and the way you are going out, you do not keep anything. You need to transport and come to that place. I don't know what to do. He said, I'm anyhow. Place, man. I'm sorry. Okay. He said, I should, I should call her brother to come. And I'll go and borrow a card from my phone and call his brother. His brother now say, okay, maybe by tomorrow we'll go and visit him. Around that tomorrow, uh, before the tomorrow, I won't come to this place. I do not see anybody. Immediately they call me on phone, my spirit not tell me. My spirit now tell me to come to altar here. I now come to this place. I meet with Pastor Mike. I was explaining to Pastor Mike to tell him that he look at what I'm passing through. He said I should go. That as long as I have come to this place, he will get the papa. I said okay. I pray finish, I go. He said uh, after I call him again, he said I should come uh, good morning, Jesus. I come to good morning, Jesus. When I was coming to the good morning, Jesus. My spirit is saying, no, don't come alone. As long as I own a picture, don't burn fire, finish. There's nothing he can use as evidence about her. I should use her clothes and come to this place. I bring my husband's clothes. And when Papa is sleeping here, I drop it in order. I go outside after sweeping and everything. We do money, division, finish. Then Papa come and say, who has this cloth? I say, now my own, now my husband's clothes. Papa say, okay, next time if I have problem, if I want to... Let him know. So make I use my mouth, tell him I don't want to come to for us. I say no problem, sir. After discussing finish, he said he saw my husband lying on the ground, crying. You see, uh, eight years imprisonment. I say, God, I never even get anything. I never even enjoy the marriage. If you come there for eight years imprisonment, nine is everywhere, don't lie. Yeah, I come to beg God. He say, God, I beg you. I no want that kind of thing for my way my husband do. He can't tell me, say, Ingo, give me prayer, what I will do. But without my husband, I say, okay. I use faith and collect the prayer. He said, I should wear that my husband's cloth for body. I wear the, my husband's cloth. He said, I should use faith and pray. Anything that I pray finish, if I want to close the mouth, I will come to this altar. I should not even look whether he was is there or not. Make I just come to this altar and pray the prayer and go. The second day, I do the prayer. The third, I still wear the cloth. Even the cloth was very dirty. I still wear it like that. The third day again, we be there uh, three days. The second day, he got me here. He said, I'm hearing on Friday, on Friday, on Friday. Your husband will come back. I say, Amen. After praying, that's on Friday in the morning, I was in my bed. My husband called me and said, They want to take him to a uh, uh, drug office. I say, I beg, go relax. They are not taking you to anywhere. God are taking control. It's okay. There's no problem. I now get up and wear clothes immediately, rush to this place. As I come to this place, I did not see anybody. I just do it like a mad woman. I come to the altar. There's nobody there. They are doing this thing here. I just call one woman. I beg, shoot, 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 shoot. So look at the way you are, you people are setting the altar. I just call the woman, carry broom, sweep everywhere, finish. I lie down here, I cry for God. I cry for God, finish, I go. As I reach here, the people that saw me, those police people, at the court that saw me that day, but I get